So a few other um, things known coming into a new home. Your window treatments, if you get them with the builder, they're probably going to be a little more pricey than aftermarket or after you close. But at least you might will have them when you close. Um, so if you're doing more kind of, you know, full on curtains and like, you know, not necessarily the, the shades or blinds, um, that might be something that you wait till, till later. My trick for always for window treatments, what's my trick? Does everybody know it? I'm looking out the window, I'm like so many people around. <laughs> it's like a fishbowl. Um, trick, go to the ceiling and go to the floor. Puddle the floor a little bit. Just have a little bit of a puddle. Um, but please go high. Don't have high water um, curtains that are kind of off the floor and they're they're like Urkel pants. Don't do that. Stop stop doing that. And then go to the ceiling. Take your your what's it called the pole thingy. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm awake, but I, my brain is still not working. Um, the curtain rod. I was like, what's the word? It's a word. We'll we'll make up our own words. The curtain rod. Take it as high as you can. Come on. Don't don't. If I see any more current rides that are right above the window, I'm going to scream. I probably will. Well, I'm not going to scream. But take your window curtain rod and your window treatments as high as you possibly can. Um, if you're not doing kind of uh, things that are like built into the window, even if you are, if you have like a, a balance um, or a kind of a, a classic um, dressing on the window, um, that's for like a, a roller blind or, or shade or something like that, you can still go high. I promise. Um, check out our free webinar we have on kind of curtains and more examples. Um, my team can kind of put that in there. So lots of, lots of things. The window treatments are funny because we're like, uh-oh, we need to put some up right away. That was number one. I'm like, you want to take a shower? Because <laughs> you're moving, you're tired. Um, and then you're like, I don't want to flash my neighbors. You know, I'm just, meet, just meeting them. You don't want to flash people. That's not right. Um, so what else? Electrical. So some things you're like, oh man, I didn't think about this. This room gets a little hot and I am in that hot stage of, of life <laughs> where stuff is happening. Um, and you know, my air conditioning has to cut it off right now. It's so loud, which is beautiful. We love air. We need air in Vegas. It's going to be 120 before we know it, but it's loud. So if I'm talking to clients or, you know, just have, trying to have a conversation, um, it's like, bleh. so <laughs> we got, fans and other stuff like those kind of things that you need for comfort for your functional just well-being in your house um try to do them early as possible um sometimes i'm just like oh i think i'll be okay i'll be fine and then when you're actually in the house you're like no i need this i need this i need this so you will really merge and shift on what you need maybe not a design need more functional need that will change over the the course of your uh early first couple of weeks in in the house um, so I always say also do a little, little smidge, do a one moment of a design that you really, really love. So I was in this room, I think I was in it last week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's only this week. Uh, we moved in Saturday. So this week, <laughs> I was like, not last week. Um, I was in here, um, and we, I made it a neutral palette intentionally because I was like, I want to figure out where I want to go. I want to put some wallpaper on the ceiling. I want to do some other things, but I need it to be a blank slate, um, especially for design. I don't want to be too impacted until I'm ready. And that's okay. Take your time. It's no, there's no rush. It's your house. Do whatever you want. But I knew I needed an accent wall. So I got these lovely baskets from my friends at Kazi. Hi, Kazi. I love you. You're my favorite. Um, and I've been eyeing these for a while. Oh my goodness. I love these. Just a little more, more punch of color. Historically, I'm kind of more browns and tans and blacks and neutral. But in this space, I was like, punch it up. Let's go. Let's get some color in there. Um, so I have a basketball forming. It's still in process. And there's going to be multiple other basketballs in, in our house. So I'm excited.